So it's a single leg RDL, and the, pro the, the proper technique associated with that is to try to make sure that the knee again doesn't shift forward, but the back stays in a flat position. If they get round shouldered and their spine goes into too much curvature, then it creates a bad situation as far as their lower back is concerned. So one of the primary coaching points with that is trying to keep their back flat and the leg going straight back behind them. And then it isolates primarily the hamstring and the glute med because of the stabilization factor associated with it. It's also a tremendous exercise for ankle stabilization, especially when you introduce the uh, Arex pad. Key mistakes to avoid is shifting forward too far with the knee and then rounding the shoulders forward and, and slunching over or slouching over like uh, your lower back. And on those, primarily six reps because you end up losing your focus on it. You can go as high as eight, but primarily we teach just six because of the factor involved with the balance and the appropriate position with the, with the lower back and the knee. If they're really good at it, you could do eight. But for beginners, definitely six reps. And again, three to four sets each leg.